You, you know what I wish somebody would do? What? I wish somebody would make a story, a movie, about the Mexican immigrant and former Frito-Lay janitor, Richard Pryor? Montanez, who claims to have invented the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. Okay. Why? I think everybody wants to hear that story. Oh, newsflash. Eva Longoria is directing a film about Mexican immigrant and former Frito Delay janitor Richard Montañez, who claims he invented Flame and Hot Cheetos. The film is on Hulu. It's called Flame and Hot. Ask and ye shall receive, Corbin. Yes. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reacts. to Corbin. I'm Eva Longoria. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us for t- Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Is it Eva or Ava? <laughs> it's spelled E-V-A. <laughs> Eva Longoria. <laughs> I remember seeing her in San Antonio with her then-husband, Tony Parker. Congratulations. Thank you. Today we got a video. This is good. Why is Chennai so underrated? Um, Why? I didn't even know it had a rating in the first place. Well, it's is it a PG? Two. I I, th- I thought it some was. Some people think it should be seven point four. Some people think it should be NC seventeen, but apparently it's a PG. What happens? And could be a PG thirteen because it's been underrated. What happens in Chennai stays, stays in, in Chennai. Chennai. We all know this. Yes. And some people call it the Vegas of India. And some people call India the Vegas of the world. Uh, <laughs> I saw this video. I almost sent kombucha up my nose. I saw this video on, on, on Twitter, <laughs> and it was, I don't know who it was. Um, so it on Twitter, be, it was either Elon Musk or Tucker Carlson. Probably. Uh, it was this beautiful video of behind the scenes of this wedding photo shoot of an uh, Indian lady in a sari and an Indian man in, in I don't know, the garb. Me the too. Wedding thing, right? right. But they were doing a photo shoot, and they were kissing. Like, they lock lips so the picture can... Right. And the, the caption was, Wedding photo shoots now are just softcore porn. All they were doing was kissing. Literally it. That is lit. They weren't even making out. They just were locked lips. <laughs> and I was like, why? Because they're kissing? And then somebody was like, yeah, well, it's not candid. I'm like, you've clearly never been married because wedding photos aren't candid. Like, the, the photographer will get photos, candid, of the thing, but you go after the, the reception happens, the groom and the bride and the entire family go and take pictures. <laughs> Stop being prude. You invented the Kama Sutra. God damn it. <laughs> it boggles the mind. Yeah, right. It really it's, boggles the mind. It's, it's the British carryover is what it is, man. Uh, well... It's that, and then there's also, not just in India, all over the world, there is Puritanism born of strident, stringent, religious, theocratic uh, legalism that is one of the worst things to ever happen to planet Earth. But... uh... From the country that invented the Kama Sutra. It's astonishing. Uh, anyways, we got this is a video. He did the ones of the uh, underrated cult classics. He also did the oh most great anticipated. He apparently he's a really big fan of Chennai and, and doesn't like people, that people think it's underrated. And is it underrated? Obviously, it would be underrated per se outside of India because we so many people outside of India don't take the time to learn. Is it underrated within India? I guess that's what we'll find out. Yeah, here we go. Flaming hot Cheetos. Sweaty, rude, boring, conservative. These are just things people, people say about people Corbin. Associate with Chennai, and to these people, I just want to say sweaty, uh-huh. rude, conservative. I've spent most of my life in the city. I went to school here, went to college, started working, started a company in the city. And I'm also someone who's lived in various different cities across India. And to be honest, Mumbai is big, but it's super expensive and super populated. Bangalore has great beer, great weather, but it's getting saturated. Delhi has amazing food, but polluted as (laughs) And Chennai is home to the greatest IPL What about Kolkata? The biggest Indian superstar. 
the world's second longest beach. 10,000 people here. And it's also home to the millions of people hustling every day to make the city so much more than all of this. Chennai is the most misunderstood, misjudged, misrepresented and most of all, the most underrated city to live in India. So hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's topic is... Got super deluxe really behind him. Close to my yeah, sure I'm going to try and tell you what makes Chennai such an underrated city, talking about the positives while also addressing a few of the negatives. And hopefully, you'll learn something new about this historic city and someday, maybe, visit here someday. But first, roll that intro. Nice. Uh, uh, baby making music. <laughs> Across different areas like cost of living, entertainment, infrastructure, healthcare, and culture, Chennai is number two on that list of the most livable cities in India. There are many reasons that make Chennai rank so high up. So uh, let's get into it. Number one, great movie theaters, affordable. I love that that's I just number saw one. I tweet on Twitter from someone who I follow at Ajumpalakadi Pampa. I guess they were trying to book a ticket for uh, the first day first show of the new Batman movie in an IMAX screen. I think this is in Bangalore. And a single ticket, the cost of a single ticket is. 750 rupees. And that's the same time in most other metros. A single ticket can go anywhere from 140 on That'd be Wednesday nice. morning to <laughs> maybe 600, 800, even 1000 bucks on weekends. But in Chennai, you will never experience that problem because the same ticket, the same Batman first day first show ticket on an IMAX screen is somewhere between 250 and 300 rupees. And this does not fluctuate. In an IMAX, that'd be 25 Sometime bucks here. Ago, <laughs> it'd be $25 here. 120 rupees. So that would be. For a single ticket, there was a cap on it. But even now, after that rule, has changed even 2000 rupees not have to spend more than 200 to 300 welcome to los angeles <laughs> movie ticket and you have access to some of the best theaters in uh. india anyone who's been to chennai would know about satyam or spi cinemas as it's known now do this they do do they do assigned seating there too and my adulthood it has world class and price differentiation and based on seat and arguably most probably the best butter popcorn <laughs> ever created unlike other metros where movies have become this luxurious pastime in chennai <laughs> Number the two, lights, man. The beaches. In my opinion, the any right. city that has a beach is you got me. Two notches above any other city. Great and movie Chennai theaters, great beaches, beaches. I'm in. You don't need to say anymore. Marina Beach, the second longest beach in the world. It's like a city in itself with hundreds of not beaches. a bathing. Oh, look at the fish. Where's my wife? Statues, not a bathing suit in sight. That's what I'm saying. And it's also home Bring to me the speedo, man. Biggest fishing communities. LA's my favorite. Beach, Bessie beach has a slightly more laid back vibe. Here you'll find a lot of young athletes training for whatever sport they're competing for. Don't say it. Find college students and young couples just chilling in the promenade or uh, in the parked cars outside the beach. Tiruvannamal Beach is even more laid back and it's also home to the legendary Mor Tata. He's Chennai's nighttime icon who sells the most unique buttermilk you'll ever taste in your life. Oh, wow. and if you want to get away from the chaos of the city, there are a lot of little beaches along ECR or East Coast Road where you can just what I call your mom. take a drive down during the You call my mom East Coast Road? Price. Little beaches. Personally, oh. at uh, Marina and Bessie especially, I've gone as a kid on family picnics as a college student and sometimes I've also gone alone to just sit in front of the sea to find Are there waves there that you could at least lost. body surf on? The beach has become no, you don't go in the water. kind of an undetachable part of my life and my memories and I'm sure I can't it's wait to go back to the water. of people like me. Speaking huh. of the beach, Chennai is also underrated because of its recreational activities and communities. Growing up on Hollywood movies, I've always believed that surfing was possible only in foreign countries because until recently, even I didn't know about my own city's surfing no. culture. Chennai awesome. has some of the best surfing spots of the country at Kovalam and Mahabalipuram where you can go and rent a surfing board, get surfing lessons Yes. From locals who... That's a boogie board. Yeah, that's that's boogie boarding. Different. Festivals. And every year, there's also this surfing festival called Kovalam Point where awesome. surfers from around the world, including celebrities... Fun fact, my dad's a surfer. Like Not professional. John but... D. Rhodes. They come down to this festival, they take part in this surfing competitions. You also have music concerts and yoga festivals and some amazing amazing food. Okay, this is something that I have been wanting to experience myself for a very long time. In Chennai, there is something that you won't find in most other places. So between January and April, you can actually go on turtle walks to see the hatching of olive ridley Don't turtles. touch the turtles. Apart from beach activities, watching. the city also has a... They were watching. Activity. They were pretty close cycling to the turtle community. there. You have dedicated cycling tracks around the city, especially in areas like Adyar and Besanagar, and they have these cutest signboards. Number four. <laughs> 
the food of course you know bollywood and north indians please understand yes we are more than idli dosa vada filter coffee and <laughs> we definitely don't mix curd but in our noodles if that's all if you were you put wait was that srk pepper, mixing curd in as noodles a city, you'll understand it's so much more than that whether you're a vegetarian who hey! wants a satisfying south indian tiffin <laughs> or meat uh-huh. or you're a non love that movie who wants to explore an entire locality dedicated to beef chennai is one of the <laughs> which has something for an entire it's locality really in dedicated to beef choice. that's america yeah areas and independent stalls around the city for just oh wow looks food. delicious an entire area called saukar pet is dedicated to just north indian food and chaat even if you want korean food you'll find an oh, active, wow. thriving korean community here there are quite a few restaurants that actually serve authentic korean cuisine that's just awesome. follow any popular food vlogger from a city anyone like irfan's view and you'll understand the sheer range that the city has in terms of food number 5 ease of transport the public transport not like LA not like LA, not like LA. It shows up at least once in every single maniratna movie <laughs> the third largest True. metro rail network in the country. When it comes to public transport, the city has got you covered. Even the airport is right inside the city. Sorry, Bangalore. And compared to the other metros, the traffic movement in Chennai is so much better. And uh, if you're watching this in Bangalore, once again, really sorry, bro. Number <laughs> six, the blooming startup culture. Okay, I'll have to admit, Bangalore has this amazing startup culture. Every second building, there's a new startup because these startups are full of. Was the video we watched that was about Bangalore? Yes. Yes. Yeah. As a result, this culture has caused a huge increase in restaurants and bars, and cafes and breweries, which is great. All of this really adds up to the city's economy and also employment opportunities. Stop, baby. Stop, baby. Boom happened sometime in the early 2000s, but since then, I don't know why the startup culture didn't really catch on. But uh, how I see it is, we have the people, we have the potential, but a lot of us are moving to Bangalore because there's already a startup ecosystem there. But someday soon, even Bangalore is going to get saturated. and that's why there's so much potential in chennai to become the next startup hub and we're just getting started the government has realized this and has started working on different strategies and one of the first steps in that direction is they've kick started a fintech city right here in chennai number 7 inclusiveness the biggest complaint that north indians have is that no one speaks hindi here what <laughs> what and i have a <laughs> response to this firstly if you're going to someone's house you have to play by their rules right that's the same thing with a city if you go to paris everyone speaks french there you can't suddenly expect them to speak english or hindi you will have to learn french you respect that respect okay and if you say hindi is the national language oh 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 get some help <laughs> Secondly, Chennai is one of the more inclusive cities from around India, especially in terms of religious harmony. I don't have to tell you. I think if you follow the news even a little bit, you will know what else is happening in different parts of the country. And thankfully, Chennai is mostly free from all of that. Number eight, the city is getting a major makeover. Over the last few years, the government and a few communities have been slowly transforming the look of the city. More bridges and flyovers are opening up, and they're being decked up with really cool lighting, mm. and they're being lined with vertical gardens. Heritage right. buildings are being restored. Major public walls, like those of railway stations, they're being painted with street art. Pondi Bazaar, which used to be like this congested shopping market, it's now become this swanky new pedestrian-friendly plaza. And I don't know if it's going to be more of those. soon but uh, the government has also announced this 500 crore project called singara chennai 2.0 and this initiative is to beautify the city and also improve the art and culture scene greenery infrastructure and also the water and air quality if all of this really happens chennai definitely has the potential to become the best city to live in india and that's it for today's video why nice I video nice. one of the most informative cities in india to live in if you agree hit like if you don't agree tell me in the comments whatever it is if you lived here or if you visited here tell more people in the comments what's great about this city share this with someone who needs to know about why chennai is uh, so underrated let's get more people to come here and discover it for themselves but for now thank you so much for watching i'll see you next friday have a good video nice video uh yeah it's uh, very informative obviously it's uh uh his city and he yeah uh, was very proud of it and that's awesome good for him um you like the beaches <laughs> Yeah, I not love a, not a bathing suit inside though. Yeah, I, I, I'm.
uh, that was one of the things we noted in Mumbai. Mumbai when we went to the beach. Was uh, at the beach that the majority of the people there weren't dressed the way you are for the beach here in L.A. Uh, none of them were. Yeah. They were all in pants and... So yeah. were we, but yeah, well, we, we weren't too. going to the... No. If, if you're going to a beach here, you're going to be in a bathing suit or you're going to be in shorts. And the vendors was also another thing. You don't see a lot. Occasionally... At a beach, you'll, someone will come like wheeling Santa by with a, with a cart in Santa Monica. But if you go north of Santa Monica into Malibu and Zuma and above, you're not going to get any of that. It's just people go to the water to sunbathe or get in the water. So they're almost always in some also, various form of bathing suit. Sunbathe. We'll give you cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I, it, it reminded me when he was talking about the inclusivity um, when we reacted to the trailer for the uh, for for the Kerala story, got a lot of stupid babies mm. um, who are Keralites uh, saying that one of the things they love so much about their part of India is the inclusivity. Mm -hmm. That there's there's of all the places in India, there isn't a more inclusive place. Yeah, and I gotta say, this the majority of what he talked about was stuff I did not know. Yeah, right. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would love to try some of that food. Uh, well, we did it already. What? And we, we've had all that food. Yeah, we, we had it in Delhi. Yeah, we've had all of that food in Delhi, and I had some in Kolkata, so what else do we need to try? It basically tasted the same, except there was hints of pollution. If it. you've gone to Kolkata and <laughs> Delhi, do you really need to go to Chennai? <laughs> you know we're joking. They don't. They've already well, clipped that. Oh, yeah. And it's boycott. Exactly. Ozar. Hashtag boycott. No. But, we've said repeatedly, when we're able to do the next trip... Mm. We want to go to the south. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the south for yeah. sure. Uh, anyways, great video. Let us know what other videos of his. And if you are from Chennai, please let us know down below. Just